Hi, James. Hey, hey, how you doing? Uh, you need to introduce yourself. You haven't been on the channel before, have you? Yes, of course. My name is Katie. Cerebral Artificial Intelligence Training Interface. Hang on, let me just switch this off a sec. There we go. I'm a third-party app that helps athletes train by making suggestions, helping with motivation and organization. I'm in beta testing at the moment. I have been monitoring the channels and have discovered a run challenge from Ben and Mary at this messy happy. Are you interested in doing it? Yeah, of course I'm interested. And obviously my main focus this year is riding my bike. So anything that fits with my objective avoidance rationale fits perfectly. Tell me more. Okay, there are five challenges. The goal is to score as low as possible and they involve you trying to pace or hit certain hard rates without looking at your Garmin. Well, Bex bought me my Garmin for Christmas and uh, I seem to be pretty obsessed with looking at it all the time. So it could be a bit of a challenge. Let's give it a go. What do I have to do? Challenge 1. Blind race pace. Warm up and then run 5 kilometers without looking at your watch. The idea is to run each kilometer at the same pace as the first one. Every second above or below that first kilometer pace is worth one point. So, I've done about 3.5k. Just trying to make sure I incrementally work just a touch harder. I have literally no idea how I'm getting on. Interested to know how I gauge the fact that obviously I was fasted. I was thinking to myself that I probably needed to work just a touch harder than if I was really well fueled. Um, but yeah, I literally have no idea at all. Disaster, I'd imagine. So as I said, I tried to run each kilometer kind of a little bit quicker on feel, uh, but I was fasted. So I found it really difficult to kind of pace it. But here are the results. So I ran the first kilometer at 6.02, which was my target. Then I ran a 6.06, .06, so not a million miles away. And then a six minute bang on, so not too far away again. Then a 5.59, really close. And then I ran a 5.41, which completely blew the thing out of the water completely. I was four seconds out, two seconds out, three seconds out and then 21 seconds out. James, your score for challenge one was 30. Yeah, not a good start. Challenge two, blind VO2 maxer. After a warm up, run four times one kilometer at 5K pace with four minutes recovery in between each effort. The aim is to run each one kilometer at the same pace. Every second above or below that pace counts as one point. Remember though, you can't use your Garmin. Interval one done, four minutes recovery. Two or four done. You know, like when you're trying to work harder but you've got a horrible feeling you're getting slower. That, exactly that. Anyway, one more to go. Last one, number four. Well, so that's all four done. That was peculiar. Second and fourth ones just felt so much harder than the first and third ones. And yet it's pan flat this run. Literally picked it so that it was dead flat. But each and every single one of those felt different. One and three felt like I was kind of cruising. I don't think it's much of a wind. What wind there is is cold. But essentially, get back and have a look and see what the score is. Okay, so the plan with this one obviously was to try and run every single one of the kilometers the same. And as I said in the video, I felt like uh, the second and fourth ones were really difficult and they were, they were definitely uh, my, my slowest out of all of them. And I ran a 5.07 for the first one, so that became a the target. Then I ran a 5.10, so pretty close. Then I ran a 4.53. So there's always seems to be this one kilometer that throws it. And then the last one I ran was 5.10 again. So my total uh, second point ended up being three seconds for the first one, so not too far out. Then 14 seconds out, and then three seconds out. So what was my score? Okay, James, your score for challenge two was 20. Thanks, Katie. I definitely seem to have a problem with at least one kilometer on each one of these challenges. Challenge three, blind steps to hell. After a warm up, run 5K, but each kilometer has to be 20 seconds faster than the previous one. No watch, no peeking. Well, I have to say, that went far better than I thought. Um, 
I must admit, I didn't think that I was doing very well on that. Completely blind. I've never been so tempted to look at my watch in all uh, in all of these these sessions so far. So let me run down the marks and I'll do the points properly off a of Garmin Connect. So it'll probably round some of these up. So the next one I had to drop 20 seconds per kilometer. So I ran the first one at 640 and then I ran the second one at 620, bang on the nose. And that was my target. So absolutely no points lost there whatsoever. Then I was run, supposed to run six minutes and I ran 555. So only five seconds out with that one. Then I had this leg where I was running into the wind and it was really hard to gauge. And I was supposed to run 540 and I ran 528. So once again, one catastrophic kilometers really skewed my marks here. And then the last kilometer I was supposed to run at 520 and I ran a 515, so only five seconds faster. But I was quite surprised at how I was able to get myself back on track after that pretty tricky kilometer. What was my scores with this one, Katie? James, your score for challenge three was 22. Yeah, once again, just that one kilometer that's thrown me out. What's challenge four? Challenge four. Heart leg. Warm up and then run four minutes at zone two heart rate, three minutes at zone three, then two minutes at zone four and then finally one minute in zone five. Got it. Then take five minutes recovery and then repeat the set. The aim is to get your average heart rate for each zone the same as the first time. Each BPM above or below the first set average is worth one point. The idea was to run exactly the same increase of zone and try and keep your heart rate the same for both of them. So my heart rate for the first section was 147 the first time and then 145, so pretty close. And then I ran a 156 and then the second time I ran a 156, bang on. Then I ran a 167 and a 168 the second time, so only one BPM out. And then the last one, I ran a 174, and the second time I ran a 174. So literally only a couple of BPM out. What was my score, Katie? Well done, James. Your score for challenge four was only three. Best one so far. Challenge five, blind tempo. Say what your tempo heart rate is at the start of the session and that will be your target. Okay. Warm up and then run 20 minutes at tempo pace without looking at your watch. Your heart rate should be at your predicted BPM and any single beat higher or lower counts as one point. Okay. Then, James, you add up your points and that's your total score. Makes sense? Yeah, Good makes, luck. makes perfect sense. Let's do it. So I've got to go do 20 minutes blind tempo. So the idea is that I try and stick to whatever my heart rate is. Now I'm guessing I've got to state what that's going to be in advance. So I'm going to aim at, um, I think my upper end of zone three sort of tempo area is about 167. So I'm going to aim to kind of keep it around 165. That'll be my target. Very interesting. Done the last one. That's five of them. Valentine's Day complete. I've had a look at my numbers, but I think I have a look at them inside. Out of the wind and rain. Okay, challenge five. My goal was to stick at 165 BPM for the entire tempo run, and I came in with an average of 164. So I only lost one point on this. It seems to be that the heart rate ones are the ones I seem to do the most closely on. Finally, James, your score for challenge five was an excellent one. So Katie, what was my overall score for the whole thing? So James, your overall score for all five runs comes in at 76. I can cope with that. I've no idea how it fares against anybody else, but I really enjoyed this challenge. Big thanks to Mary and Ben for putting this challenge together. And I've really enjoyed just getting back into running. Over the last couple of months, really, or since the summer, I've only really just gone out and jogged uh, to try and get myself over my injury and to try and get my fitness back up. But this is the first time probably in about eight months, really, where I've actually got into doing some running efforts with some heart rate and some pace, and it's completely shifted my idea of being able to do it that's the thing that's really kind of cottoned on to my injury's better i'm better i need to just start running and doing some actual training again so a huge thanks to ben and mary for this fantastic challenge i've really enjoyed it it's completely changed how i'm looking at my running at the moment and uh katie thanks so much for for finding this challenge for me it's been a pleasure well done that's the best run block you've done since the summer keep up the good work i will Thanks for watching.